Please turn to page 12 in your copy of Confections of a Closet Master Baker. For today, we are going to make golden eggs. Preheat your oven to 325, but that's if you have a convection oven. So if you have a conventional oven, preheat it to 350, and that's a rule of thumb. Convection is usually 25 degrees lower than a conventional oven. And here's the other thing, grab your egg mold for baking. Oh, oh you don't have an egg mold. Oh, well, you know what? I ordered a new egg mold, and guess what I got instead? This. A bunt mold. So here's another rule. Who gives a crap? Your house, your rules. You have to be able to improvise and just don't be scared. So I'm going to make golden buns today instead of golden eggs. So don't worry. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to cream sugar and butter. Two cups of sugar, two sticks of butter. And you can see this nasty little divot I already made in the butter. That's just to make sure that it's room temperature. You want two sticks of unsalted, unsalted butter. So two sticks of butter. Two, oh, two cups of sugar. There we go. Okay, don't let anybody tell you that you can't use a whisk for a cake batter. They're full of hooey because look at me, I'm going to do it. Because it tends to aerate it more quickly and it gets it fluffier more quickly. And it'll take around five minutes. It depends on how soft your butter is. And a few times during the process, we are going to scrape down the bowl just to make sure that all of the butter is incorporated with the sugar. So let's start on low, otherwise we're gonna have butter and sugar flying all over the place. So let's start. Okay, I've noticed something that's really annoying me. There is a big chunk of butter sitting here, stuck in the whisk. Go away, go away. Stinker. Get out your little stinker. Okay, there we go. So we'll start again. So you might be inclined to stop at this point and start adding your eggs. Uh, and I say to you, uh, no, 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 no. This is not light and fluffy, this is not creamy. So what we want to see is that the whole mixture starts getting even wider and wider and right now it's kind of in these blocky little chunks of butter and sugar and we want to aerate the butter and sugar together to the point that they'll start taking in the eggs beautifully and then the cake is light and fluffy and gorgeous otherwise now you're just gonna have kind of a rock solid nastiness. So trust me, just keep going, it's gonna take a while. So now it's light and fluffy and creamy and I'm going to scrape this down one more time and start it on slow and then I'm going to add five eggs one at a time. After each egg, you're going to scrape it down one more time, 
and you want to make sure as you're beating the egg that it's fully incorporated so that you don't see any more shiny egg, no more yolk, no more white. You want it to be nice and fluffy for each egg. fluffy with the eggs incorporated, we're going to start adding the dry ingredients and our buttermilk. So let's go. Here's the deal with this cake before you put in vanilla and nutmeg. It's really just a yellow cake. It's a really, really good yellow cake, but it's just a yellow cake. So don't be afraid to put whatever you want that's in your cupboard that you want in your very own cake. So if you have dried cranberries, if you have orange extract, almond extract, chocolate chips, your house, your rules. Doesn't matter to me, just because this is my recipe doesn't mean you can't mess around with it any way you want to. So what I'm going to do to show you that you can be a little, you know, adventurous, is I'm adding some Vermont blueberries and some lemon extract to a little bit of the batter that I'm going to put aside. And if you want to do that too, you can. You can make one whole batch of vanilla batter and then you can divide it up and put whatever ingredients you want to make it fun, to make cupcakes, to make muffins, to make golden eggs, or in our case today we're making golden buns. So here's another trick, which you probably already know. So in this bowl we have flour, three cups, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. So if you're just making golden eggs, you can add your one teaspoon of nutmeg in here too. Now you can sift, but I say, who cares? Use a whisk and just whisk it together. Flowers these days have anti-caking agent in them, so it really doesn't matter. You just don't want big chunks. Cake flour is a little different. You usually want to sift cake flour. And then what we're going to do is put a little bit of the flour on some parchment. That's going to make it so much easier to add it to our bowl. So we have the three cups of flour with a one tablespoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. And in this bowl I have one and a quarter cups non-fat buttermilk. And we're going to add them alternating. Ah, mother hover. I'm going to put a little bit of this batter into this bowl. I don't have to be exact because who cares? My house, my rules. So about this much. Looks lovely. And then here, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And this is one teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. And I'm going to fold those into the batter gently until they're well incorporated. Okay. This is about a cup of blueberries. I think that's going to be too much for the amount of batter we have here. You don't want so many that it weighs it down and the, the muffin never rises. So I think I'm going to add probably a little less than a half. Oh, look at these beautiful beasts. Just about a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. Beauty. So when you buy these lovely nonstick things, they always stick. So all you have to do is spray them liberally with some nonstick spray, sometimes with flour, that's always good, called baking spray. You just want to be very generous so you don't feel like you've screwed up your recipe and made them stick to something nonstick. Nonstick always sticks.
We're going to take this yummy, yummy, yummy goodness, and we're going to fill each one of these about halfway full. I smell nutmeg, I smell the beautiful vanilla. It has a, such a rich, rich flavor. And the thing is that it, even if you don't like these kinds of spices, there's something about this combination. Once you dip it in the butter and then you dip it into the sugar, it, what it really, really honestly tastes like is one of the, those really wonderful cake donuts that you get in those really special donut shops. And the nutmeg just kind of adds to that. It doesn't really permeate the whole thing. It doesn't taste like a nutmeg cake. It just tastes like donut goodness. So we're going to bake these in a 325 oven. Now I've never used this uh, bunt thingy before. So I usually, for my usual ones, it takes about 20 minutes. This could take up to a half hour. So you have to be flexible depending on your mold or if you're making muffins, they'll be a little shorter time. Bigger molds will take a longer time. So you just have to get used to what it looks like and what it feels like when it's in the oven until you can figure out when it's done. So now we're going to fill muffin tins and these are going to cook far faster because they're smaller than the big bunt pans. So while that's already in the oven, I bet they'll probably finish up baking around the same time. So again, we do halfway up. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Halfway up. So now I'm going to fill the rest with the yummy, yummy golden egg batter. See, golden muffins. You can do whatever you want with this wonderful, wonderful cake batter. I like to put crumble on top of my muffins and you can go to the blog www.gesine.com and there's a really, really nice crumble recipe on there. And all you want to do is just sprinkle a little bit on top and it adds a nice sweet crunchiness to muffins or you can add it to like apple crumble. Beautiful. I always keep a bag of this in the freezer and I take it out to thaw for about two hours. So if I have to make a pie in a pinch, I always have my crumble. That would have been so embarrassing. See springy? Good way of knowing it's done. See this side hot. It springs back when you touch it. It's nice and golden brown. Still very moist. Gorgeous. If I do say so myself. These are hot. But sometimes it takes a little pain to make something beautiful. We're going to dip this into the hot butter and we're going to dredge it until all the dry spots are covered. We want to do it quickly, shake off the excess like that, and then dip it into the sugar and cinnamon mixture and coat until all the wet spots are covered. Gorgeous. Cheers.